You have made it to the end of the Aurora training course. Before you go, I want to give you a action plan for what to do next, because I did give you a lot of information in this course. The first thing you want to do is design your panel. Make sure you are using the tools specific to the Aurora. Keep in mind that panel design is theoretical, so don't spend too much time trying to figure out the most perfect panel. You are going to need to test your panel on cells, and there's a pretty good chance, assuming you're doing a pretty large panel, that you're going to have to rearrange some of your markers after you have done that first test. This is especially important if you have one of those harder panels. So if you have a lot of co-expressed molecules, or if you're doing something very, very large, you're going to have to rely more heavily on your panel check and rearrange things based on actual data. Also remember that if you have a lot of autofluorescence in your sample, you might want to take that into consideration. So before you even design a panel, you might consider running an unstained sample on the Aurora to see how it looks. Then you can move on to titrate your antibodies. Definitely be careful with titrating your viability dyes. You'll want to do that on the Aurora specifically. These next two steps, three and four, kind of go together. You could potentially do them in a single experiment. First, you want to optimize the unmixing. You want to make sure you have the correct controls to accurately unmix your panel. So you ideally should do a test with compensation beads as well as single stain cells as your reference controls and play around with what is best to unmix your panel. Once you have that perfect unmixing, then we can actually do a panel check for quality of your panel. You will assess the spreading error within your panel and determine if you can resolve all of your markers. Our website has a slide deck on how to go through this process. And I also want to mention an important note for new users to the Aurora. I do not recommend attempting all of your markers for the first time you are using an Aurora. So if you have designed a 20 marker panel or a 30 marker panel, please do not start with your first full panel experiment with all of those markers in the tube. Dial it back, start small, choose maybe about 10 markers, check the panel on 10 markers, and then build your panel up from there. You're going to find a lot more success doing a smaller fraction of your panel first and then building it up. Once you've done all of that troubleshooting, and keep in mind it can take some time to set all of this up, I would estimate roughly a minimum of a month to do all of these troubleshooting steps. It could take longer than that, or it could take less than that if you have a smaller panel with a very simple tissue. But allow for a lot of time to set up your panel on the Aurora, and once you have done all of these troubleshooting steps that I have outlined, then you are ready to run your experiment. And also keep in mind, every time you do an experiment, you want to be watching out for unmixing errors, and definitely check the accuracy of your unmixing every single time. This concludes the basic training for the Aurora. Be sure to check out other videos on our YouTube channel where I have more in-depth videos on very specific topics. And you can also check out our website to find further resources for the Aurora.